Hello, my dear children. Welcome back to the SST classroom. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Now, my dear children, today we are going to start new lesson. But before starting that new lesson, you have to look at the picture and you have to name that object. Okay? So, are you ready? Now, my dear children, look at the picture. This. Can you name this object? Yes, my dear children, it is bat. Now look the uh, look at another picture. This is pot. Now look at the another picture. This is cup. Now see the another another picture. This is chair. Now my dear children, you are confused. And uh, what you will think? Do you know all this name? But why I am showing you this picture? Now my dear children, can you tell me what material they are made from? Just take first example, bat. Now what material this bat is made from? It is made from wood. Pot. It is made from mud. Right? Cup. It is made from glass. So my dear children, where do we find all this? We find all this material. From where do we get all this material? We get all this material from our environment. My dear children, today we are going to learn new topic that is Lesson number 13 in woman. What we are going to learn today? Lesson number 13 in woman. Now my dear children, in second standard, you have you have your textbook that is environmental studies, right? Let you say EBS in short. So you might be known about what is environment. Can you give me answer? What is environment? Whatever you see around you, that is environment. In simple word, we can say whatever, whatever we see in our surrounding, that is known as environment. Now I am in the classroom. So what do you see in the classroom? You see bench, you see blackboard, table. Chair, books, right? Now you are at your home. Now look around yourself. Now can, uh, now can uh, tell me what you see in your uh, home. You see bag, you see table, cupboard, or even if you will go out, you see tree, animals. So this all in whatever we see or touch. That is known as environment. What is environment? Whatever around you. Whatever around you is known as environment. So my dear children, all those living and non-living that surround you including houses, building, people, Animal, land, mountain, river, lake that make your environment. This all make your environment. In short, both living and non-living, they form our environment. Got it, my children? I hope you know the meaning of living and non-living. What is living? What is living thing? Living thing require air, food and water to live. And non-living thing that do not require air, water, food to live. So, what form an environment? Living and non-living both they form an environment. Take my children. 
I hope we have understood the concept of environment. Now, my dear children, an environment consists three elements. That is, air, water, and soil. Got it, my children? The air we breathe in, the water we drink, and the place where we live, this all form an environment. Got it, my children? Now, my dear children, our environment is very important for us. Right? So, therefore, we should keep our environment very healthy. Got it? A healthy environment is very important for the existence of living being on the earth. But my dear children, in fact, we don't do that. We don't, uh, we don't, uh, we make our environment, we only make our environment very dirty. Right? If you are in the classroom or if you, if you were anywhere, if you are eating wrapper food, what do you do? You throw the wrapper in that place. And sometimes you sharp your pencil. So pencil shaving also you throw down. Right? Plastic bags. So what happened my dear children? This, when we throw all these objects in the environment, some objects they decay. Means they bury it under the soil. But some, it does not decay. And this things makes our environment very dirty. In dirty environment, it's very dangerous to live in that environment. We can cause many diseases if our environment is unhealthy. If our environment is dirty. So different kinds of pollution create if our environment is dirty. So my dear children, it is our duty to keep our environment very clean. So my dear children, in the next video, we are going to learn about the different kinds of pollution. So you know what is pollution? Pollution means that something being made impure or you can say dirty. So in the next video, my dear children, we are going to learn about the importance of environment and the types of pollution. I hope you have understood the concept of environment. Thank you. My dear children, now what you will do? You write the new words in your notebook. So, new words that is environment, healthy, elements, existence, living, non-living,